Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and cover the new Wilson expansion for you guys, Blood Trail, and kind of overall give you my thoughts on it. Uh, so before we start, I just want to go ahead and explain a little bit about what Wilson Blood Trail is. It is a free DLC, also known as expansion, that is attached to Wilson. So if you did buy this game on release and not refund it, you would have complete access to the Blood Trail expansion. Before I continue this further, I would like to say that they have done a lot of work with uh, fixing things on the passive tree, adding many nodes on the passive tree, changing uh, weapons up, nerfing weapons, essentially modifying a bunch of stuff to the core game to really make the game feel much better. From my experience of playing, the game still does not feel extremely smooth, it doesn't feel very crisp. It does have very cool boss fights and probably one of the most enjoyable campaigns of any ARPG I've played, but I don't play the ARPGs for the campaign, I play them for, you know, the combat and everything else. Wilson still has a very fun theory crafting system, I really enjoy this, but I just can't personally get over the clunky gameplay and the constant battle between balancing your willpower and your rage. It's something that I personally don't enjoy, I've tried really hard to like it, I just can't. Um, but that being said, if you already own the game, I don't see any harm in trying to check out the DLC. So, what Blood Trail essentially is, is if you guys are familiar with Path of Exile, Blood Trail is basically like uh, Abyss plus Metamorph at the same time, or maybe just Metamorph. You essentially find a Blood Trail, your pet, which is now a, a free pet, will tell you where the next location is. You will then move on to that next location. And then, so here you go, you can tell he's saying to go this way. So, wait a minute, I guess he wants me to just file that. Hold on, did I actually do this? I did, okay, okay. Now I'm actually confused, let's see. This way. Okie dokie. I think it's down here. Oh, here? Nope, what are you saying over here? Mr. Pet, you have to direct me a little better, sir. I'm not good at this game. So after you have found a couple of them, you can kind of see the modifiers. They'll hover over right over here. Um, you can then kind of like customize the beast that you're tracking. And then at the end of the, uh, the tracking, you're gonna be able to actually fight the beast. Um, unfortunately, I do believe there is a bug right now where you can modify the beast to drop a legendary, but he does not actually drop a legendary, it's just, you know, bug. A lot of the bugs that were in the game originally, not bugs with skills, but like audio bugs and visual bugs are still in the game. I am happy to see they fixed a lot of the skill bugs. Where does this pet want me to go? Here? I think here. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Right? Small amount of gold. 50% magic find. Alright, let's go. Pat, where are we going? I'm just gonna go this way. Is this okay, Mr. Pat? Another major feature that they added into their game is they added in a actual loot filter. Um, if you go to your inventory and pop this open, it's a very basic filter where you can essentially just filter every item type and base type by its rarity. But to be fair, I'm not here to complain about stuff. I mean, I think I think that's good for sure. I think ARPGs that are very loot driven are very demanding on a loot filter specifically. Anyway. I have no clue. So if anyone can succeed, 
I don't know if I trust the dog. He's telling me to go down, but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be going this way. hit these curse chests but i don't want to spend too much time just popping stuff you guys have already seen i want to just get to the league content launch event but wait 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 where is pet where am i supposed to go do i just continue um okay oh okay it's still here the diversion has started we should hurry they're counting on us to open the main gate He's saying it's up there. Careful now. We've reached their back line. These are federated cannons. I could recognize their thunder anyway. So like the AoEing and grouping in Wilson is not really too much of a problem. The problem I have when I say the game is clunky is like when you're trying to move around and mobs are constantly body blocking you and you feel you cannot really click precisely due to that fact. And then innately I guess this is okay, but like innately your roll does not roll you through a mob it'll roll you around a mob which then you have to start spamming your roll multiple times to just like go to the destination that you want i guess it's those little basic things that i can't get over and you know they don't have to change those it's just i'm used to my way of playing arpgs essentially and wilson definitely has a very different take on the standard arpg with uh the way they have decided to kind of model their game Come on, Blood Trail. Where you at? Maximum health. That may not be good. What is this? Oh, map modifier? Is that what I just put on? Because I know this is what I put on, but I don't know what that is actually. Wilson, I just want to find the evil, the evil thing. Oh, I see what the dog does now. The dog isn't directing me towards the next one. Oh, not like this. The dog is directing me towards the trail, not to the actual, uh, like the destination, but just to get back on track. Okay, hopefully this is the last one here. Okay, here we go. So this is now summoning the prey? I don't know where he is though. I'm guessing he is... I'm being overwhelmed. Is that him? That's my prey? That does not look like a beast that I was sniffing out.
then you still have this kind of obnoxious <laughs> demigod thing. Uh, so then after you slay it, you get... I don't remember exactly what you get. Uh, you get... I think it's their trophy unlocked, and then they drop special gear. I don't know if I got any of the gear from that guy. But they also have gear that has like... Um, it's like super high in one stat. So an example, say I have a six toughness roll here. Maybe it would be like 22 toughness minus four elemental resist. So they kind of have like dual stat. There. Well, it's like a super high stat and then it comes with a negative thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, Wilson is just kind of like a unique game. It's not really one that I find to be crazy enjoyable. I really like certain aspects of Wilson. I really do. Like the town building is pretty cool. The character building is pretty cool. But it's like very... I don't know, it's really hard to get into. It's kind of it's kind of strange. Anyway, though, I'm going to catch you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and maybe this can help you make your decision on whether or not you pick up Wilson again today. So I will catch you guys all later. Take care. Have a wonderful time. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day except for Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox.